it's Peter from Face Aerobics. Thanks so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm doing uh, a video on the nose exercise in ex Exercise Along With Me Series 1. Now I've done a lot of videos on this exercise because people are so interested in their nose and getting it in shape. But the first thing I wanted to ask you is just stick with me with this video because I talk about the technical side of things first and things that you need to know about the muscles. And then in the second part I talk about uh, how to do the exercise and um, where to get the information of how many times to do it and all that sort of thing. So just stick with me through it and uh, hopefully you'll get the information. So with this exercise we are exercising the nose. Now I want to talk to you about the muscles of the nose because if you do, um, if you do go ahead and do this exercise too much you will change the shape of it for the worse, trust me, because I have done that and I had to rest it and then it came back to normal. But um, anyway, um, you will, you will um, make problems for yourself if you do it too much. So these muscles here are called the levitator muscles. And basically the muscles that are activated in this exercise is the procerus, the corrugator, the nasalis, the levitator, and the depressor septi muscles. That's because they're all interconnected, all of the muscles. Okay? And you cannot move one muscle without moving the other in this area. All of these muscles are all connected. Now here is a, a visual of that for you so you can have a look also rather than on Dorian and you can have a look and study it and see what muscles they are that are actually moving. Now as I said you have to be real careful when you do this exercise. You cannot do this exercise standalone. The only time you can do it standalone is if you do 50 repetitions a day and that's it. And you only do 50 a day for five days, you rest for two days and then you do 50. You do, do do not any more than that. And if you do come to me and say that something's happened to your nose, I will know that you were doing more than 50 repetitions. So please take heed and do as prescribed, okay? So what we do with this exercise is that we place our fingers on each side of our nose, okay? So I'm placing it on each side of our nose here. So, so the nostril comes up around, so it's just at the very tip of the nostril. Can you see that? The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lean my, the rest of my hand onto my procerus and hold that tight. Basically what I've done is for the index finger, I'm holding the knuckle in the middle of the procerus and I'm holding that very, very firmly there because we don't want that muscle to move when we're doing this exercise. Because typically, when we do move the muscles, we want to frown because it, it's part of, it's all connected, okay? So we'll end up doing something like this. But if we hold it with our, um, our the rest of our hand, it will not frown. And you'll feel it wanting to frown, and, and the more it frowns, that muscle, the, the harder you will push to hold it. So that's the first part of the exercise. Okay, that's how, we're, that's how we're holding the nose. The second part is we place our finger gently on the very tip of it. Now we don't push it up, okay, we don't push it in, we just hold it there on the tip of our nose. Okay, that's easy. The third part of this exercise is we push our nostrils down. So as you try to push your nostrils down, you will feel everything activating around that area that I showed you on Dorian. So you will feel the procerus and the corrugator activating. Sorry, I've got a bit of hair on my face. You'll feel the levitator muscles activating. You will feel the nasalis pushing down. You will feel the depressor septa moving. Okay? Now, with this exercise, when you don't have your hands on there holding all the muscles about, what you're doing is you're flaring your nostrils downwards. Now, you can even see it here that I'm still activating these muscles up here for the moment. Just let me get that hair out of the way. There we go. Oh, there's another one. No, that's it. Uh, I'm pressing down. I'm activating these muscles and I'm activating the nasalis. So give that a go, and I want you to place your fingers on the nasalis for the moment as you do it, 
and I want you to press your nostrils down. Then place your fingers on the levitator muscles and you'll feel them moving up and down. Now place your finger on the depressor septi and you'll feel that moving. The main thing to also with this exercise is we do not use our lips in this manner. Okay, we don't do any of that, we just... You can see my lips are not moving. So let's put it together. Fingers on this each side of the nose. Lay your knuckle up against your, your index finger knuckle up against your procerus. Place your finger, your other index finger on your tip of your nose gently. And then flare and press your nostrils down. Now, my fingers are going up and down because my muscles are going up and down. I'm not moving my fingers up and down. Now again, you will have to learn how to do this exercise and I would say 99% of people do not know how to move their nose up and down like that. So this is something that you will need to learn to do. Don't give up because at one point what's going to happen is you'll be doing it, doing it, doing it, you won't be doing it right and then all of a sudden, oh, you're doing it right. So don't give up. All right, it is something that you need to learn how to do. Let's have a look at it once more. Now you can see I'm pushing down, I'm not going like this. A lot of people tend to do this. I'm pushing down. Okay, all downwards. So get that down first, Pat. Get that movement down, Pat, first. Then you can place all the other parts of your hand onto your face and do this exercise. Now, as I said, with the um, exercise and how many, in the description box below, there is a link. And in that link, if you click on it, it will take you to how to do the program, how to follow the program. Okay, so if you click on it, it will take you to the site and it will give you a whole information on how to follow the program, how many exercises to do, when to do them, when not to do them, what exercises to do. It will show you all of that information. So I would encourage you to click on that link in the description box that takes you to that, um, that part of the site so you can learn how to follow the program. There's also links in there for my uh, skincare site if you're interested in beautiful natural skincare and very affordable products for your face and devices for your face, go ahead and click on the link and it will take you there as well. Imagine having beautiful and radiant skin that is naturally healthy. A powerhouse of skin loving ingredients rich in Australian native botanicals that renews your skin and protects it from harsh elements. Renew Me is gentle yet effective, made for all skin types including sensitive skin. Enhance your natural beauty and skin wellness. A luxurious skincare range that indulges the senses. Order today and rediscover you. All right guys, I hope that's helped you today. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel because when you do, you get all this support. When you do subscribe, hit the bell. And allegedly, when I upload, you'll be notified. Sometimes you're not, sometimes you are. And also, the link to the premium gym, to the face aerobics gym, is going across the video right now. Go ahead and put that in your browser and it might be something that you're interested in doing and joining the gym um, to help you through your face aerobics uh, journey. All right, guys, well, I hope that's helped you today. Please do have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.